new intro so much love and appreciation to those of you who have been with me for the two-year period plus that i've been doing this um thank you for showing your uh love and support to the channel and to anybody else who is brand new to the platform and you would like to support the channel also you can do it by way of patreon anchor the clothing store and also the shoe shop that is listed in the comment description below and again thank you to any and all of you guys who have been here to support this channel during the two plus year period i wouldn't be able to do what i do every single day without you all right so obviously i haven't done one of these in a long time um this video is specifically about the video that was i want to say released maybe a day ago and it has to specifically do with a black woman being told that if she doesn't pick up the pace or do the job that they want her to do how they want her to do it that she would receive 50 lashes right and one of the main things that i have stated in countless other videos um dealing with uh black women and dealing with um either you know threats at the job um people saying certain things or whatnot or whatever i've always consistently stated that hey if black women literally put their money together right stop buying nonsense right stop sitting up there um buying all this hair right all this nails all, all of the stuff that is not for the embetterment of your life is just a want right then if black women actually you know pull themselves together pull their money together resources that they can literally open up their own businesses and hire right one another so that you can basically you know be at that job you know how you want to be at that job if you have a certain type of hairstyle if you have you know locks or um different types of hairstyles you can easily do that why because that business is owned by a black woman therefore you are not subjected to um a lot of different things right meaning that other cultures can't sit up there and look at you and deem um, what is it that you have on or how is it that you have your hair? They can't view it as a negative type of thing, which they love and like to sit up there and do, right? Um, I also have to do another commentary because I, in a sense, showcase that um, when it came to kids and their hair and how it is that um, Black kids are told that, hey, um, the way that you have your hair, that's not the way that it grows out of your, you know, your head. That's, you know, that, that's not, you know, you and you know, you have to do something with your hair. You have to cut, you know, your hair. So, you know, like I said before, and even in those stories, I've sat up there and stated that, yo, if the black community gets together, pull their resources together and stop buying nonsense all the time, we can sit up there and start to open up our very own schools, hiring other black teachers, hiring black janitors, have all black everything. So therefore our kids are not subjected to a lot of the judgments um, other cultures are going to specifically put, um, you know, on our kids. So let's get to the comments. So one of the things I also tell people is that, hey, if you don't like my commentary, hey, you know, it is what it is. There's a ton of other brilliant and great, um, you know, black YouTubers out here who happen to, you know, do the news and who happen to, um, you know, deliver things in a way that, you know, maybe are digestible to you you know maybe those are you know youtubers that you may want to look at and maybe very easily you know this just ain't it for you right so this person shay go stated that i have to say it your commentary was bs in this one right and i said that that is your opinion right because i ain't about to sit up there and debate that's why i clearly wrote that small thing but clearly this person couldn't take that or obviously get the hint. So they decided to just start writing books, right? So they wrote, okay, so for one, not enough black men are opening businesses for black women as a whole to completely move from white businesses or corporations. And you said black women won't work with men. How does the household translate to the job? Again, Last time I checked, there isn't enough black business owners by black men or women. Um, if black men could provide, then black women wouldn't have to go into the white workforce. Also, 
Some black women are opening their own businesses, but a lot of women don't or won't ever get the opportunity. And if they do, the community as a whole doesn't want to swallow that bill. And the same thing you said in the video can be applied to black men. You said that black women don't let black men lead, but why can't black males, I guess I'm just going to add the S on there, um, lead themselves? Why isn't black man building up the community without black women's input? Because the white man was able to lead themselves and their women for years. And even when their women was restrained, they still got the work done. Yes, the white man had had it easy, but even if it's hard, you expect black women, even though you said black women, um, you expect back black women to do it. Lead, build communities, build businesses, but black men haven't been doing it, and it's their role. Is their natural role is somehow, some way, black women not working with them prevents black men from doing their role. <sighs> and this is why I barely even respond to comments now because it gets tiring. Because I've, I've literally showcased and talked about this any which way, right? When I said I talked about the younger generation, I've talked about the elders in a black community. I've especially talked about black men and made videos specifically pertaining to black men so that we can get, you know, an understanding. But yet women like her would still roll up on that video and then they want to leave their comments, right? But supernaturally, right, when I happen to do videos like this, and it specifically has to do with black women, magically, I'm off base, right? Magically, you can't understand or even see something that, you know, I'm potentially, you know, saying, even though th these are things that I've said over hundreds, you know, of videos, especially dealing with uh, the black community. Um, I've specifically stated to black men, I'm like, yo, if we stop buying garbage and trash, right, if we stop spending money on women that really don't even want to be in a relationship with you, right, if we stop doing stuff to, you know, keep up, you know, with uh, Sean and Terrence, you know, on a block, you know, we can easily get some stuff done because we're focused on ourselves. We're doing stuff that, you know, we're supposed to be doing. We're building ourselves up, right? We're concentrated, right? And once a man is focused you know, directly on what he's supposed to be focused and concentrating on, that, yo, he's basically unstoppable, especially a black man. Dude is unstoppable. Like, it ain't nothing that you can sit up there and, and do. It ain't nothing. It's like the juggernaut. Like, you ain't stopping that, right? And like I said before, somebody like her, she wouldn't be running her mouth on that video, right? She wouldn't have nothing to sit up there and really say or she'll try to sit up there and say oh yeah this is what i'm talking about yeah black men um they need to you know sit up there and work on themselves and uh they need to uh sit up there and stop worrying about what it is that uh black women are sitting up there doing it focus right those are just some of the comments like i said before that i have received and gotten you know before let me see if i can make this as simple as possible because obviously we got some people in the back that obviously can't understand simple English. The main point of me mentioning a lot of the stuff in these videos is to basically showcase the fact that, hey, black women inspire other black women, right? I, as a black man, right, if I happen to build, if I happen to do certain things, right, I might be able to put the thought, right, in a uh, black woman's mind, right? But if a, another black woman builds her own corporation, builds her own business from the ground up, that's going to give way more energy to other black women and young black girls more than anything that I could sit up there and do as a black man. And that's just a fact, right? Like I said, I could look at, you know, black women. I'm like, yo, that's pretty dope, right? But that's not going to automatically inspire and push me, right? Because at the end of the day, I'm not a black woman. So the thing that inspires me is sitting up there seeing brothers, right? Who statistically the world and everybody else basically gets down on. And they also state that, you know, black men ain't this, black men ain't that, black men can't do this, black men can't or won't do that, right? And they're basically going against that whole narrative, right? They're coming up with jobs. They're working for themselves. They're making small businesses. 
Um, some brothers might have a business out here, but they don't directly have an LLC or a DBA yet. Right. But they're still running their own business directly, you know, out of their home or out of their car. Right. Or they're working and they're working on, you know, their side hustle, trying to make that their main hustle. Right. So it's like for me, that's the main point where I work on, you know, trying to get that across. And a lot of the videos, some videos I get tired and I'm like, yo, <laughs> uh, you know, been doing this for, you know, so many years. And then you still have people that claim that they watch your content. But then you can obviously tell that they don't and they skip over videos and then they leave comments like this on a video. And now they have to sit up there and get embarrassed because, like I said, that's crazy to me. If you want 100 percent, you know, have been here because I've seen this name before. Right. So you've obviously watched some of the content that is directly here. But yet, for whatever reason, you want to sit up here and argue. And that's the main thing that I'm talking about. You just further prove my point. If black men. Basically, me as a black man in a multitude of videos told black women like, yo, just start getting y'all stuff together, right? So y'all can pull y'all resources and y'all money together so that y'all can work on, you know, building your own businesses, supporting like your girls, your family members, the different things like that, you know, when they create something, right? But also what I said in the videos is this, is that even though I can list that, the other main issue is that a lot of black women don't like working with other black women right and it's over a lot of petty type of bull and that's a huge problem right and you know the other thing like i said before this is like all argumentative i clearly stated she wrote one thing right i was nice enough to sit up there and respond because let's be truth be told if i never responded to this comment right here she would have never wrote this paragraph but you know that's what happens when you try to be a little bit nice right so, like I said earlier, I wrote that one thing, right? One, two, three, four, four words. And she decided to sit up there and write a, a novel. And this is what I, along with other black men, are talking about. When we sit up there and try to put black women to task, right? Because we got our own tasks that we, you know, got to sit up here and do whatnot. And y'all got your own tasks as women that y'all need to sit up there and do as well. This is what a lot of black men face. Argumentative, you know, people running their mouth all this type of stuff when it's uncalled for, right? This is not the time to be argumentative. This is the time to just listen and that's it. But like I said, you got a lot of women out here that ain't trying to listen because they feel that they know better. And that's clearly what her comment stated, right? Started going through and blaming black men like, oh, you guys aren't, you know, creating enough. You're not building enough. You can't even do for yourselves and uh, uh, black women building. You want them to take on uh, these masculine roles. So you basically inspiring in, in a sense being in a leadership position when it comes to other women that's a masculine role seriously that's what we're doing out here that, that that's what we're doing that's what we're doing okay i guess so let's let's, let's go to the next the next one right uh sejihito the second coming but you're blaming black women i can't see any other way from what you said in your video that black women not working with black men and how does that negatively affect black men especially outside the relationship especially what it has to do with jobs job security and the workforce what is black women doing to stop men from building not only building for themselves but for black women to want to submit and give them partnership you're on here saying black men have been telling you black women we have been warning you black women but what have you done to prevent us from being in this position because white women and women of other races especially within their own country borders have it better because their men have built and continue to build for themselves and they are women but you are sitting here asking for black women to take on the masculine role of building and once we start building, once we pull together our money and businesses, black men would complain if we didn't hire you. Um, we wouldn't be able to keep what we built to ourselves without three trash bag dudes complaining. That is truly why I believe I hear so many black men saying, yeah, women have the ability to build, so build, but don't forget me though, women building and black men nesting. 
So yet again, this is the whole tactic of blame black men, right? And the main thing that I stated before is that whenever a black man, right, as stated previously, tries to put black women to task, this is the mouth that happens. This is exactly what he gets. Instead of listening, instead of paying attention, it's the whole thing of like, oh, no, I'm offended because all you're doing is, um, you know, attacking black women. Just say that you feel offended because you feel that this pertains to you. Just do that. Just just simply say that. Just feel just say that you feel that what I'm saying pertains to you. Right. Because I've seen other women leave comments and I didn't sit up there and see the whole thing of them writing novels talking about that they're offended by what it is that I'm saying. They understood what it is that I'm saying. Because more than likely, they have seen it themselves in their lives with men that are around them or men that have been around them. They've seen the things that I have expressed in other videos and also talked about. Like I said, you're roughly the only one that went to like two different comments blaming black men and, you know, trying to like do all of this, you know, talking for clearly no reason. Right. And yet again, you're talking about how does this, you know, negatively affect black men? Because black men don't have time to be dealing with somebody crying and wanting to be argumentative all the time, right? Like I said before, if black men are supposed to be in a leadership position, right, do you think that we have time to be dealing with grown adults that want to act like children? Like, this is what a child does. A child thinks that they know every single thing. They think that they understand uh, completely about the world. They think that they have everything all figured out and they want to start running their mouth. They want to start showing their chest. They want to start bucking up. They want to start doing all of these things for completely no reason because they have that false belief or that false idea that, yo, now that I'm quote unquote, you know, an adult, you, you can't tell me nothing when realistically the world is going to tell you something vastly different. So you can sit up here and list all of these other nations, right? that quote unquote built stuff for their women. Um, but let me know how they treat their women again. Let me know that because let's look at China, for instance. What did they do to their little girls? What 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 happens to them? How was their female population? Right? I could have sworn that men outnumber women there. You can happen to look that up for yourself, right? Let's go directly to the Arab nations. Hmm. Interesting, like I said before, you want to bring up all of these other nationalities and, and whatnot or whatever. Huh, what are the women doing there and how are they getting treated by the men? I could have sworn they suffered through a, a variety of uh, a lot of different attacks, horrendous attacks, which I've even covered before on my platform. But like I said before, you said that, you know, these other nations they're doing for their women, you know, they're creating all, you know, for them and they're doing it, you know, out of love and partnership and everything like that like i said go go right ahead right go right over there to those arab nations because you say that black men are building go over there to those arab nations and let me know how that's going to work out for you let me know what type of rights you have directly over there because the mouth that you have right now and you trying to explain all of this oh that wouldn't be happening just to let you know just like over there in china the mouth that you have right now where you're trying to talk and do all of this stuff oh <laughs> that's not going to happen over there right? Let's go to some of the, the Latin countries, right? In South America. Hmm. I wonder what type of job positions those women actually have over there. Oh, that's right. A lot of those women are workers over there. So I, hey, you know, like I said before, you're listing all these, talking about all these other nationalities that built jobs, but I guess you really have not looked at the overall greater majority of the women and the little girls in a lot of those countries, like I said before, but you know, it is what it is. You know, you were trying to make your point. So I guess we're going to leave it, you know, as that. The other thing is, um, the one thing I stated is like, yo, I don't care for me. And this is just me. I don't care. Like you're talking about, but for a black woman to want to submit, I don't care. Like I said, you can be a black woman and you don't want to sit up there and like, you know, listen to certain things. Like I said, there's a difference. I'm not looking for like no 100% you know, type of deal where you're just like doing any and everything that I'm sitting up there, you know, telling you um, to do and stuff like that. My main thing is if I'm telling you something, just listen. That's it. 
I ain't trying to sit up there and do all of this, you know, other type of stuff. But if you ain't willing to sit up there and just simply listen and to like bend an ear to what it is that I'm saying and trying to inform you of, yo, it ain't no reason for us to talk. It ain't no reason for us to be together. Like I said, that's the that's the clear cut difference. You're saying, um, you know, submitting and you're in a sense trying to list it as like a bad thing, which is funny because a lot of black women do that, which I did talk about in either this video or another video. A lot of black women, when they go to these corporations, they submit to white men, right? You have a lot of black women that sit up there and say, oh, I'm not going to submit to um, a black man and, you know, all this other, you know, type of stuff, right? The whole combative type of attitude, right? But yet you're going to submit to somebody who is not making any type of commitment to you. You're going to change your hair. You're going to change your makeup. You're going to change the way that you dress, the way that you talk and the way that you walk in order to submit to that job or that corporation so that you can hold on to that job or that corporation. Right. All right. So then. Right. You decided to basically state later on, um, but you're sitting here asking for black women to take on the masculine role of building. Me telling you that you need to inspire other black women and young black girls that's not a masculine role that's you as a woman inspiring other women and young girls because like i said before i can inspire men and young men and young boys that's what i do right as a man that's what i'm able to do right that's my power right you as a woman you're able to do the same thing on a whole different side like i said it's crazy that i have to literally break down and explain this into like some simple kindergarten type of stuff, but I guess that's what I have to, you know, in a sense do, right? Because you got a lot of adults that can't seem to like get this, right? So you as a, well, I'm sorry, because I don't know who this is, right? So you got black women out here who I've done videos on, like several videos of black women creating their own jobs and corporations, LOCs, DBAs, businesses, and they basically made something from nothing. And they said that the reason why they did it, listen, pay attention. They said the reason why they did it is to inspire other black women and young black girls. They didn't say that they did it to sit up there and inspire men because they can't. That's not how that works. Men, we will sit up there, we'll, we'll admire it. We'll be like, yo, that's dope. You you know, the sister's like, she's doing what it is that she needs to sit up there and do, right? Men inspire other men, right? That's what I'm sitting up there saying. Like when I'm thinking about combat training, I'm going to sit up there and learn and, and get an understanding from other men. Because there's certain ways that we have to sit up there and come at each other and fight each other, right? I can't, in a sense, get that same understanding from training with a woman. Because, like I said, that's vastly different. It'll be like the reverse, right? A woman training with a man, she's learning from a different perspective of how she has to come at and attack a man so that she can properly defend herself because you have two different strength levels, right? And the same thing when you have a woman training with another woman, you have to come at other women differently because women like to attack other women differently. They like to pull clothes. They like to pull hair. They like to, you know, uh, uh, try to use a variety of like locks and, you know, different things of that's, you know, but like I said, at the end of the day, it is what it is, you know, and I've said this to y'all on live streams. I said this to y'all directly in other videos, no matter how I come at a situation, no matter how I talk about a situation, right, you'll always have those out there, right, who will never be happy with anything, right? Their whole job is to be argumentative. Their whole job is to be this, that, and all the other type of stuff, right? And one of the other comments, I think that was listed, right? And uh, she said that, this is the last one, right? She said, but what have you done to prevent us from being in this position? Um, I didn't know that it was automatically my job to tell you to, hey, I need you. You need to get your money together. You need to stop spending money on hair, on nails, on alcohol, on going out to the club and a variety of other things that are just wants. Like I said, the greater majority of the things that black women spend money on are wants. And none of that is going to add any security or value to a black woman's life. And that's just fact. I'm not even arguing that. That's just, if you want to argue that, then you're going to be talking to yourself. You know, like I said, you're saying that, what, what am I doing? Right? Okay. So the main things that I have done is the fact that 
I've used my platform, right, to showcase black women doing what it is that I stated, creating jobs, creating businesses, inspiring other black women, right? I've used the information that I've put out in order to inform other black women, like, hey, yo, black women, you know, I care, I love you, da 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 You guys need to learn self-defense. You guys need to go out there and get your license to carry. You guys need to go out there and get some hand-to-hand combat training because you got a lot of men out here who don't care about your life. That's what I've done. Like I said, the funniest thing is knowing the fact that there's a lot of people out here that, that can't, this is what you get. They start asking you, what have you done? Because they've never done anything. They've never done anything, right? So this is why people always want to question you like, oh, what have you done? What have you done? What have you done? What have you done? What specifically have you done? Like I said, I've talked about a lot of black businesses that have black women working at those businesses. I've talked about black couples, black married couples or black couples that are in relationships that have literally uh, came through and they're like, yo, this is what we're building and we're doing this to showcase black men and women working together right i've showcased a variety of things and i've talked about a lot of these things but like i said before a person like you would never understand that because those are not the videos that you want to show up to you only want to show up to the videos where you feel like you got a leg to stand on and where automatically you feel that you're being attacked and you're going to decide to prove to me or talk about how you feel offended as if I automatically care, which I don't, right? So the, like I said, now in a whole other instance, people say, well, if you didn't really care, then why would you make this video? I make these videos because it's entertainment for other people, you know, who happen to watch this channel. It's about what, close to a 30 minute video. This is just something that somebody can listen to or through their work day or their work period to, you know, help it go by a little bit faster right so i do this for entertainment purposes like i said this is the clear-cut reason i do a lot of these videos dealing with commentary because you know it's funny to me just sitting up there seeing a lot of the things that you know people have to say but anyways if you just so happen to like this video or my long talking through this commentary and response to this video um, you know, leave that in the comment description below. And as always, peace, love, and stay tuned for the next video.